How is uh, Lululemon managing with uh, with the COVID nineteen? Are they? Yeah, you know they they've had their their challenges, but um, I think the company is um, was strong enough financially that actually I've seen them do more giving than anything. So they they have really really just been um, you know giving Lululemon funded small business. Uh, lo- like grants to to even a friend of mine's business back home you know she was she's also an ambassador so to have to not just be an ambassador for a brand you know wear the pants and you know teach a couple classes but to have that brand support you in your most desperate hour um that says a lot you know so they they have really put themselves in a position there where they could be a help to their community and that's truly what the brand stands for so you know, I think I'm sure they've had their hardships, but all I've seen is is the giving. Yeah, and what a truly, you know, like refreshing model that they mm-hmm. allow a certain amount of time for each of their employees to go exercise on a weekly, daily, be- you know, basis. Yeah. And that that model for, you know, um, wanting your your employees to be healthy, and and so we hope they they continue to be successful through all of this. Yeah. 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 And it's, and it's not just even physical health. They put a lot of, um, you know, workshops and books and practices and, um, you know, pre meeting rituals and things like that to, to make sure people are emotionally and mentally healthy as well. Um, yeah. So I, I, I major respect for their brand. It's an honor to, to represent them. Yeah. So what's next for you when 20, when, when, when this crisis ends, when we go back to normal, will you continue still? Will there be a hybrid of uh, zoom meetings? Uh, are you launching your own brand? Uh, you know, if yeah. you're allowed to say, yeah. I think um, there's definitely going to be a hybrid. Like I think given how successful it has been, I think we'd be crazy not to incorporate that. And I, I also think the landscape uh, for gyms and, you know, fitness, fitness uh, providers has changed entirely. There may very well be people who are not comfortable coming back into the gym for quite some time. So to be able to offer a service platform for them as well, I think is crucial. So that's definitely something that we are, are, you know, looking at making some even physical changes to the space in order to allow uh, that to happen um, and, and continue to provide high quality. But, you know, I'm really, I'm one of those people that, you know, this is like obviously a can of worms, but I am not afraid of COVID-19. I cannot wait to hug somebody. You know, if that means me getting a test and then, you know, knowing that, that's, that's fine. Like I respect the, the measures in place to make sure people are, are, are healthy and functioning optimum. But I, I am one of those, like, I cannot wait to be face to face with someone and train with them again. And, um, you know, go and correct someone's form and, you know, feel their sweaty t-shirt and then wash my hands after. Like that's, <laughs> that's the world that I've lived in and grown in. And, and I, I, I don't, I don't fear that. I think that there's a lot to learn from this. And I think there's a lot of things that we recognize we need to take more seriously as, as people. And that's fantastic. Um, but I, I can't wait to get back to as close to as normal as, as possible as a, someone who works in a service industry that very much is about, you know, interpersonal connection. Um, it's been, uh, it's been dearly missed, I would say. Um, Mm -hmm. and I'm working on my own website right now. Um, just as kind of like a, you know, aside to, to the other things that I do on, on, on social media and, you know, just trying to be, I'm just trying to like, you know, be, do this full. I've, I feel like I've sort of just dabbled in the idea of having a personal brand and just kind of leaning on Instagram. And, and I'm like, you know what, I need to, I need to start a website and just try to make that a little bit bigger of a, uh, a footprint and then see what happens. You know, you don't know until you try again, like I said, I think you can tell, like it really comes from me not being a, growing up with really like a lot of technology as part of my life. Like I was the kid playing sports and running around in the field. Like I never video gamed or anything like that. So growing into a world of technology, I'm trying to grow with it as much as I can. I'm making oh, myself sound us. like I can't even send a text message. No, <laughs> all of us. No, I mean, I've been challenged to like put out something on TikTok this month and I'm like going to have to go like ask 11 year olds for help. Yes, Literally, I, I had this game. Happen, I was going to hire a kid in my son's class who's 11 to edit my podcast. 
that he had experience because yeah. they're they're doing this and that's part of the why i love this medium is because it will exist in audio in perpetuity and mm -hmm. people can listen to it while they're running driving like this yeah. is going to be with future generations so but just like I know for my mom, like I, she used to ask me to like get her on the AOL.com. I don't know if you had that in Canada, like whatever the dial up yeah. was, you know, yeah. like, but now in, in the quarantine, she's doing like two Mahjong Zoom games per day. Like she's got yeah. thrust into a whole new another level as well. It's crazy. <laughs> I know. Like I, I, it is crazy. I never thought I would, I would be here, but, um, here it's hard are. to be great. It's hard to be an expert who's putting so much energy to be in front of people and be a peep connected. You're you're having to like track how many nervous systems in the room to make sure they're not uh you know, who's pushing themselves a the maximum, who could be, you know, hurting an old injury, and yeah. to be like fully your voice can't waver at all <laughs> at all. I mean, there's so many juggling. things. There's yeah, so many things that are just so natural. So like to add in yeah. technology, it is. It's like you know, I don't know if we're meant to be doing all things at the same time.